My name is Cindy Cohen. I am the Executive Director of the Electronic Frontier Foundation. The EFF is the leading digital civil liberties organization in the world. We're based in San Francisco um, and we work to make sure that your free speech and privacy are protected when you go online or use digital tools. The internet has given us a tremendous amount of um, ways to communicate with each other, ways to keep in touch, ways to share information. Um, but it also, uh, unless you use proper security mechanisms, can leave you kind of uniquely vulnerable to people attacking your privacy. The more information we share and store online, whether that's in your ISP, whether that's in the cloud computing service or a social networking service, that information um, could be available to people who are bad guys. Um, it could be available to government snoops um, or spies. It could be available to people who might want to do you harm. Encryption is the technology that helps keep you safe. I use encryption because I believe that my clients deserve the protection necessary to be able to tell me what's going on and let me give them the best advice possible. Um, and this isn't just because it's my belief. It's actually the way the law expects lawyers. Lawyers can get into trouble if they don't protect the uh, information that their clients entrust with them. We're in a trusted position. Um, and so it's the rules for us. We can lose our license. It's the law. The law protects that privilege. Um, and um, it's the right thing if you really want people to trust you so that you can advocate for them. They have to be able to tell you the whole story. Um, and so the, you know, the legal system really depends on the protection of this privilege. Um, and so it's important that our technology do so too. Um, it's, it's really not right to have all of these legal requirements and protections all set up, but the technology not allowing us that, that same level. And um, GPG helps me feel assured that um, in practice I'm keeping things as protected as the law uh, encourages me to do so. Encryption is one of those tools that helps protect people as they're seeking out information uh, that might otherwise be transgressive where they are. And that's true whether you're a kid who's wondering about their sexual orientation or whether you're a kid who's wondering about another religion um, or you're an adult who's in a place where the way you think may be different than the way everybody else around you thinks. And you know, we all uh, it, it, it's very common and I think the, allowing people the ability to have you know a protected conversation is just central to that you need to be able to have a private conversation in the digital age for all the same reasons that you needed to be able to have a private conversation in the analog age um, I would say that the one that is that I talk about the most at EFF is about uh, the ability to make political change you know somebody had to turn to somebody else and say I'm not comfortable with slavery. I think that slavery is a bad thing. And at the time that that communication happened, that had to be a secret. It was a very transgressive idea. But enough people talking to each other about this and organizing and talking about it with each other, and eventually, you know, we were able to end slavery in this country. Um, we have similar issues as our society today. That process happens, but it has to happen. It has to have protection at some level in order for it to be able to occur. Um, this has groundings in the law in the United States. Those same conversations happen online now. And for us not to recognize that and take steps to ensure that you can have a private conversation online, um, I think is for us to lose something as we move into the digital age. So um, there's still ground that we need to work on both technologically and substantively, but I think of GPG as one of the core tools that we need if we're going to have um, functioning self-government um, in the United States or around the world. The nice thing about encryption technology is it, it really doesn't care who your adversary are. It, it protects you, it protects you uh, from big and small adversaries alike. Um, so you know, what, do, what do I work with? We work with people who are nervous about the U.S. government. Um, we work with people who are worried about foreign governments. 
Uh, we work with people who are worried about foreign non-state actors. You know, there are people who have been involved, say, in the drug war in Mexico who need to protect their communications against the local warlords and the, you know, or the mafia, the local uh, organizations. Uh, and we've taught how to use GPG to, to those groups. Um, we've, uh, you know, for me, uh, some of my clients are worried about just the opposing side, the person who wants to sue them, the, the person who's trying to uh, stop them from doing what they're doing, which might not necessarily be the government. The nice thing about GPG or any encryption technology is that it, it gives you the protection regardless of what your threat model is. I mean, you might make different choices about which technologies you use, but encryption protects you regardless and it doesn't evaluate whether you've you know, met some certain standard of needing it before it gives you the protection, it just gives you the protection. You know, when it comes to being worried, especially about government surveillance, people on the right and people on the left are, are, are equally concerned. Um, they just tend to be concerned at different times. I've had people email me using GPG for all across the spectrum. I would say that most of the people who ask EFF to help are not even in the kind of left-right political spectrum, and particularly that's not particularly important to them. You know, they tend to be people who want to speak. Um, I don't know how you do left-right if you're talking to, you know, activists in the Middle East who are trying to figure out how to get back online when the government's unplugged the things. That it's certainly the case that right now, the way that the issue has been framed, it's law enforcement and people who support law and strong law enforcement tend to be worried about encryption. Um, but on the other side of it, you know, people who worry about cybersecurity, which, you know, we have a cyber command in the United States right now, I mean, um, they understand the value of encryption. I think of it as the difference between defense and, the, and offense, really. And, um, you know, from my perspective, I'd much rather have a strong lock on my door than be assured that the cops could solve the crime after the case. I'd rather not be robbed um, than make sure that they could, you know, uh, take steps that might make it easier for them to solve the crime after it happens. And I think it's a little crazy to think that the answer to the fact that people are robbed is to make sure that they have less security. I know that there are several people who have only contacted me through GPG. Um, whether they would have found another way to contact me without it is kind of never a question I've asked them, but I think if people are using it, it means that it's important to them. Um, I suffice it to say there have definitely been sensitive communications that I was very happy I was able to have over encrypted channels um, and that uh, your civil liberties have been protected as a result.